Every moment is critical when it comes to the care of premature babies, and Stanford researchers say that a mom's voice is important as well, especially when it comes to reading. You're my little ladybug. You brighten up my day. Tell me about your study. What did you learn? This is really the first randomized controlled interventional trial to see if playing parental voice to preterm infants would impact brain development. The fetus in the womb is actually constantly exposed to the parent voice, particularly the mom's voice. We had parents who consented to the study make a recording of reading Paddington Bear. Amazingly, the babies who got just even a few weeks of this exposure to mom's voice actually had better developed language areas of the brain that we can measure scientifically. When we played even a relatively small dose, meaning just for a few weeks of a, a baby's stay, we actually saw measurable changes in the brain. This is hugely powerful because it was a fairly short exposure to the baby's overall NICU stay. So it's sort of exciting to think about what we might be able to accomplish if we did this for a longer period of time. I can tell like he calms down when he hears my voice. And I feel like it's just really good for a feeling of bonding. Nerves that are stimulated, of course, grow better. Pathways you use in your brain, muscles you use become stronger. One of our problems in here is that our parents deliver a baby and all of their dreams for what they wanted to do with their newborn child are gone. They have all this respiratory equipment and things like that on and they just want to be normal parents. And this is such a normal experience that it's very grounding and soothing for parents. It also empowers them, particularly with the results of these studies, to say, you actually make a difference. You're sitting here and reading to your baby is maturing their brain and helping them to be the best they can be. We'll snuggle up two cuddle bugs and sleep, my little friend. The end.